Hello everyone, my name is Yuki. I'm a technical marketing engineer at Antopology. And today I'm gonna to show you the different ways you can manipulate your model view by using our tools and our software. Here's a brief list of what we'll be covering today. We'll be taking a look at our view cube, the camera settings, different rotational styles, our display grid, ruler, our name views, and lastly, our GPU acceleration, a really useful setting to help you render faster in end topology. Why are we talking about something so simple as model views? First off, without the proper view, you won't be able to work on the model. It's important to know where all your model viewing tools are and how to properly use them to get the most out of end topology. Um, before we start, I want to credit Lano Kuyama for this awesome car suspension design I downloaded from GrabCAD to use in today's end top live. Um, we're going to focus on this top right over here. You may have different names for this, but at Anthropology, this is what we like to call our view cube. Our view cube is completely interactive and you can use this to control your model views. You can orient your views by simply clicking on those labeled faces, the edge, or even the vertice on that cube. And you also notice these arrows at the top left and right. You can rotate your model counterclockwise or clockwise by clicking on those arrows. So you can pretty much control the views just by using the view cube if needed. Moving on to our camera settings. We got two different camera settings here, perspective and orthographic. When you're in an orthographic view, objects don't have depth. For example, from whichever view of angle I'm in, those two tires will look to be the same size despite how close or far I am from them. And while in this view, you can also use the ruler at the bottom to roughly measure any features of the part. Maybe you're working on a small screw or a bolt on this tire. When you're zooming in, you might experience CAD goggles where you zoom in too far and lose all sense of how big things are. So with that said, let's move on to perspective real quick. So perspective view gives you a better understanding of how big the parts are, and it helps you avoid CAD goggles. The further you're away from the part, the smaller it looks, and the closer you are, the bigger it looks. And while you're in perspective, you can also zoom in, fly through those small holes, and work on those small detailed areas of the model. Moving on to our rotational styles. Going back to our drop-down menu, we have two different types, the turntable and the tumbler. And I currently have the tumbler selected, and you can move the model at a slower rate and rotate it at ease. But if that's a bit too slow for you, you can use the other style, the turntable. And by simply dragging your mouse just a little bit on the screen, it'll rapidly rotate your model. Roughly measure the thickness, height, or other features of your model by using our display grid and or our display ruler. You can find them right under the rotational styles and enabling the grid will give you 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter grid with a five millimeter grid spacing between each of those squares. And maybe you need to measure something, you can turn our display ruler, drag our model down to the ruler and move the ruler to get a rough measurement of that thickness, in this case, in our part. And also remember to be in orthographic view when you use the ruler. Create your own views. Under the named views, I have two custom views already created. And to create another one, I can simply orient my model, click new name view, rename it, and it'll be added to your list of name. Lastly, I wanna talk about our GPU acceleration feature. Enable it by going to file, settings, and under the general tab, you'll find enable GPU acceleration. And by enabling that, you'll be able to render your models notably faster. And let me show you what I mean. Here's a comparison of a model running through an entire workflow on Anthropology with and without the GPU accelerations enabled. With the GPU acceleration enabled on the right, you can see that the model is starting to already render. And this operation took 12 seconds to complete, which was a 90% increase in rendering time compared to the left side where the feature is disabled. So don't forget to take advantage of that feature when you're working with nth topology and take advantage of that rendering speed. I hope you're able to learn the different ways to manipulate your model views in nth topology. 
If you're curious about anything at Entopology, set up a few minutes with us and a demo to get your questions answered. Go to Entopology.com, click on Get a Demo, and simply fill out the form to speak with an Entop expert. If you're an existing user and want to dig deeper, feel free to check out support.entopology.com to access our help center.